All systems go, the range clear, everything looking good. T minus 30 seconds, mark. Now under 30 seconds, stand by for that first ignition. The two main engines on the first stage will be igniting. T minus 10 seconds. CBC slew test initiated. Mark. And 10 seconds to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. And we have ignition. And we have liftoff of Antares for the Orb 2 mission from the Wall Flight Facility delivering Cygnus on its second commercial resupply service to the International Space Station. Antares off the pad, the SS Janus Voss on its way with the Orbital 2 Science uh, Research Supply Mission to the International Space Station. DVC nominal. Attitude is nominal during flyout. Core pressures are nominal in the commodity tanks. We're at 108% power. Back to 104 percent. Engines are nominal. Attitude is nominal. TVC performance is nominal. Getting good first stage performance. The Antares Warp 2 mission. And the first stage will fire for just about four minutes into flight. Attitude is nominal. Engines remain nominal. Power is nominal on our power buses, electrical power buses. Hydraulic TVC performance is good. We're at 20, the two first stage engines firing successfully, carrying Antares through the clouds. Attitude is nominal. Core pressures are nominal. We're adding helium into the ohlage volume of the pressure in tanks to keep them up to pressure. Passing through max Q now. Attitude is nominal. Engine performance is nominal on the HA26 engine. TVC performance is nominal. Right now we're switching to a launch animation. The rocket itself lost in view through the clouds, continuing to perform nominally though, as expected. Engine still at 100%. Engines are nominal. Coming up on two minutes since launch. We're 115 seconds into the mission. We're roughly two minutes from Miko. Core pressures are nominal. Miko, the main engine cut off uh, the end of the stage one flight into orbit. Attitude is nominal. Altitude is 100,000 feet. Engine performance is nominal. Avionics power is nominal. Attitude is good. Core pressures are good. And TVCs are tracking very well. Very small steering commands on the engines today. Uh, overall, Antares performance is green. Oh, coming up now in two minutes, 50 seconds since liftoff. Just about one more minute until stage one shutdown. Attitude is nominal. Just a few seconds after shutdown, stage one will separate. We're one minute to Miko. Engine performance is nominal to date. Attitude is nominal. Altitude 200,000 feet. And LOX tank is uh, getting additional valves open to continue the pressurization sequence. All is good. Attitude is nominal. We're about 30 seconds to Miko. We have started throttle down of the engines to keep the axial acceleration below limits. TVC slew maneuver started. Attitude is nominal. Altitude 300,000 feet. And we're coming up on Miko. Pressures are good. Engines at 58% thrust. And we have Miko. Stage one throttling down. Main engine cut off. TSS disabled. We have stage one separation. And stage one separation confirmed. The two main engines doing their job successfully. 
post period here before we will separate the fairing. At this point, the rocket traveling uh, well over 9,000 miles an hour. Okay, closed loop guidance has engaged. Uh, stage two ignition time is 339 mission time. We're currently at uh, 275. So another minute. Okay, and so under a minute now from the solid second stage rocket igniting, continuing to carry Cygnus into orbit. Velocity is at 19,525 feet per second, which is right in the box. Altitude is 150 kilometers. Antares is coasting between uh, stage one and stage two burns. When we get up to a higher altitude, we will separate the bearing and the inner stage. Avionics power is nominal on the power buses. Antares performance is green. Pegasus, I mean, Antares continues to coast. Wrong rocket there. Attitude is nominal during the coast period. So at this point, fairing separation coming. And now we have interstage separation. We're preparing for the stage two ignition. And we have, we have positive confirmation of stage two ignition. Antares is thrusting to put Cygnus into orbit. Taking some telemetry here, it's in the center here. Battery voltage is good. Attitude is nominal during stage two burn. The rocket at this point, uh, or Cygnus, over 116 statute miles in altitude. Avionics power is nominal. Attitude is nominal. Altitude 180 kilometers. Antares performance nominal under stage two burn. The stage two engine will raise the altitude into its initial orbital insertion of just around 160 statute miles. Stage two performance is good. Everything continuing to go as planned. The rocket and the cargo craft looking good. Attitude is nominal. We see some ACS firings to control the roll axis. Pitch and yaw are controlled by the thrust vector controller. Altitude is 190 kilometers. Attitude is nominal. Okay, we're roughly a minute from burnout. Attitude is nominal. Altitude 195 kilometers. So the second stage, as you can hear, continuing to raise Cygnus into a higher and higher orbit. Getting good usable data. Attitude is nominal. Antares performance is green under stage two burn. Avionics power is nominal. And we have stage two tail off and burnout. So the second stage finishing up its job. Vehicle will now orient itself for payload separation. Uh, settle rates and point the Cygnus in preparation for the separation of the Cygnus. LC DPM countdown one. Stand by DPM. DPM may be on countdown two. And Antares performance is nominal. And cold gas ACS is being used to point the Antares upper stack in preparation for Cygnus separation. Avionics power is nominal. That separation anticipated to come just a little over a minute from now. Following separation, it'll be uh, at an altitude of about 154 statute miles. At that point, it'll begin to deploy the solar arrays and do all the initial on-orbit checkouts. Attitude is nominal. We're achieving the attitude in preparation for separation.
Entire status is green. Orbit, uh, orbit achieved looks very good. We're just standing by for separation of the Cygnus from the upper stage of the Antares. Approximately 30 seconds to separation. Avionics power buses look strong. And we're receiving telemetry data through the Bermuda tracking station and relayed here to the Wallace Control Center. Roughly 10 seconds to separation. Attitude is nominal. And we have Cygnus spacecraft separation. And we are beginning the collision examination avoidance maneuver using the cold gas ACS. Couple of claps there from the Wallops Range Control Center confirming Cygnus has separated successfully is in its initial orbit. Here you can see a quick animation, uh, the second stage performing as expected, Cygnus separating in its initial orbit now of about 154 statute miles, traveling at a speed of over 16,700 miles an hour.